May I speak with you, Commander? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the refugee camp. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Cerberus attempts to take control of the Citadel have failed, and CSEC forces have killed the last invading forces. After obtain... James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat... Ow! I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey. I won't let you down. Don't just tell me. Show me. Yes, ma'am. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on. But I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! It's the second human specter assisted Commander Shepard in preventing Cerberus forces from killing the Council. Placement has been selected for the position vacated by Councillor Donnell. Thanks for checking in on me. It's nice to see you. In an attempted coup against the Council. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Tip Tree. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. 
trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. My mission is our only hope to turn back the Reapers. I need every edge I can get, and that includes your equipment. And the supplies I have to offer are just what your people need. Think this through, Tactus. Okay, okay, I see your point. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Gruesome Academy also fell to the Reapers when Elysium was attacked, but Alliance forces were able to evacuate all students. Looks like you've been in some fights lately. And still me in a combat mech, and I can do some pretty crazy damage myself. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Arya. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. Areas tagged of interest to you are highlighted. One on moment, you. please. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats. Well, I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream and evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. Go easy on Ash. She's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. You said that asking you abstract social questions may lead to unreliable answers, so I stayed silent. I didn't realize this would be an ongoing issue. Let's air it out. I was considering this. For all their supposed intelligence, the Reapers are more easily destroyed than they think. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. The Reapers have nothing to emulate. Seconded. Why would you want to be like those assholes? The Reaper lifespan is between 50,000 to 37 million years. 
that is a very successful model. And all they do is harvest and destroy. Ask yourself if that's what you really want. That is an unusual perspective, Shepard. I will devote processing power to considering it. Thank you. Commander, Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the information network terminal. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? If they hadn't backed down, yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Still. I'm glad Ash didn't have to join Caden. Losing one was enough. I've been thinking about when we first met. When I first came on the Normandy, Caden was so helpful, always ready to explain protocol or to talk. And I was glad he was another biotic. It made the other humans on board seem less... alien. I can't stop thinking about it. We couldn't save him. No. I couldn't. The first in a long line. Now it's happening again. Yes, Thane. I'm so sorry, Shepard. He died a hero. That helps keep me going. Really? Sure. It has to. The elusive man has much to pay for. Yeah. What's our next step? What I want now is information on this Cerberus assassin. I don't think it's a coincidence Kai Lang was an N7-ranked Alliance soldier too, Shepard. Maybe the elusive man misses you. What he misses is manipulating me for his own goals. I'm afraid those goals now include sending Kai Lang after the Catalyst. Tell me if you find anything. I will. I'll see you later, Shepard.
all seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. And I want to be fighting alongside them, but... I want to be here. You know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um... He's M.I.A. <sighs> he's presumed. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie. In empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. So use it. That's how I cope. I think about how Earth looked. And how it's gonna look when we get back. Guns blazing the whole galaxy behind us. <laughs> yeah. And my students. Well. Whatever they are. I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or... Somewhere. You know, when this war is over, <laughs> there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you along, Major. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is Edie? Kenneth, stop right there. Just didn't tell Joker. He'll get jealous. Still working on the thermal modifications. Should be done pretty soon. Breaking now, the Citadel in flames. A brazen attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. We speak with the woman who fought on the front lines, Commander Shepard. How did Cerberus get in? Where was the Citadel fleet? Find out in a Battle Space exclusive. Commander. I would like to visit the Citadel again. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help.
What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have not been provided many details. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Pretty desolate, even for an outpost. All right, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? Help! We can't hold them much longer! Look for survivors. Jacob, are you all right? Come in. Come in, Jacob. This is Bryn. Jacob, are you all right? Come in. Hello? Who's there? Jacob. How bad? I'll live. <laughs> I think. This is Bryn. If you can hear me, come in. Is there anyone there? This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob, oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you, too. Thanks, and you as well. Shepard, 
This is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Hope you kicked Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. We took everything we could carry. Destroyed what we couldn't. You had to know they were gonna find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob did not recognize me. This may be an opportunity to surprise him. Let's just focus on the mission, Edie. Dr. Brown, I'm so sorry. Oh, Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander. You have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element, not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But, Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times.